October. It's officially October, which means it is time for Halloween looks. I actually decided to do a few wearable Halloween looks just for anybody out there who needs like a last minute look or you're not really into that gory, creepy type of makeup and you want something cute. It's giving glam -ween kind of vibes. This is definitely the look for you. I am obsessed. Obviously, you can change the colors. You could do orange instead of red. I love this look and also I am obsessed with this liner. This liner could be perfect even if it wasn't for Halloween. It's such a beautiful graphic liner moment. I also did put up my little Halloween decor so you guys can see. I am obsessed. I feel like Halloween is always so much fun. It's the perfect time to get creative and just have fun. I feel like every single year I kind of get so stressed out with my looks being perfect and I feel like Halloween should just be fun. It's about being creative. It's just a fun time. So. I'm super excited for today's video. I hope you guys are too. This is the glam right here. So before we jump into today's video, please don't forget to give this one a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. Also, down below, let me know what you guys think of the new Halloween intro. I'm obsessed. It is so freaking cute. This is going to be the first year that I'm doing like themed intros and I'm obsessed. So let me know what you guys think down below. And of course, without further ado, if you would like to see how I created this look right here, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, let's get into this glamoween look. So I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. You guys know, any time that I'm going for like that super clean lid where I just want to cancel out any discoloration, any of the veins on my lid, I go in with this concealer. It is amazing, it's full coverage. The only thing that I do recommend is to make sure that you are setting it down with the powder and that is exactly what I'm gonna do here. The powder that I'm using specifically is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Sandstorm. Such a bomb powder, even for the face. If you have oily skin and you want an affordable powder, that one is bomb. So this is what the other eye looks like you guys i am so proud of this liner like listen i don't always hide myself up but this eyeliner i worked really hard on it okay so i also want to say that i used a lot of eyeliners this is definitely the perfect way to test out what liners actually work and will work for graphic liner girl I literally went through like six eyeliners so I was first using the rare beauty and the rare beauty was working the best but obviously you guys know I did the other eye already so it was drying out on me just a little bit but that is the one that worked the best it is super pigmented I've also had it for a while so I think I need to buy a new one but when I tell you that this eyeliner is it it's it before this the one with the red packaging was the one size um, I forget the name of it but it's basically the one size liquid liner in black and you guys can see it was like skipping it was drying out like it was not the best and I think that the rare beauty is more of a brush tip and the one size is more of like that marker tip so I think that makes a big difference as well so you guys can see I'm kind of just mapping out the shape of this graphic liner and to be honest with you this is gonna look like absolute crap okay before you actually start to bring it together so once I had my little wing going I was like let me do my inner corner flick so that's what I'm doing here and for this specific look I did drag it out quite a bit um, so just keep that in mind so I'm gonna stop talking now and how about we change things up a little bit and I am just gonna let you guys watch and just see the magic happen <music> Thank you. 
I'm back. So you guys can see at this point, I've already connected everything. And now you can just focus on how thick you want this liner to be. And now you can kind of build on top of that. So once you have your shape down, now you can go ahead and build, you can perfect it and do not be afraid to make this a little bit thicker than usual because you want to be able to see it it's a graphic liner so now i'm going in with a little bit of concealer of course i'm using the nars soft matte concealer and i'm gonna go in and of course clean this up i want this to be as sharp as possible i want these lines to be crisp clean and that's exactly what this is gonna do for me by the way the brush that i'm using is actually a michael's paintbrush it's from the brand princeton i will go ahead and like leave the name of it down below in the description box but that is the liner get into it okay honey <laughs> it's super sharp so let's get into the face makeup so i'm gonna go in with the elf halo glow liquid filter i absolutely love this product and i have it in a darker shade which is fantastic because it kind of gives me that extra layer of coverage so i don't have to use as much foundation so i'm gonna go in and just blend that out i know a lot of people are still super skeptical if this is really better than the charlotte tilbury and for me it is i think i like the coverage of this and for some reason every single time i used my charlotte tilbury once i took off my makeup up for the day i would have a breakout so i don't know if it was that specific product um but this doesn't happen i mean this doesn't happen that doesn't happen with this product it is phenomenal so now i'm going in with foundation i didn't show the foundation on camera but i'm going in with the makeup revolution irl filter foundation i'm going in with the shade f10 so beautiful it gives me the perfect blank canvas and you guys can see i didn't apply the foundation straight onto my face and then blend i actually have the foundation on the back of my hand and i'm just dipping my sponge in it and kind of tapping it out on the back of my hand and then pressing whatever's left on the sponge onto my skin and i can do that thanks to the elf halo glow filter underneath because it gave me that beautiful layer of light coverage so this is what the skin is looking like super beautiful now i'm going to go in with the fenty beauty match stick in the shade mocha you guys if you're looking for a really nice cream bronzing stick this one is so beautiful it blends like a dream and the color is absolute perfection it's more of like a drier formula and i hate to say that i feel like it sounds wrong but it's one of those formulas that it's gonna stay exactly where you place it it's not one where when you start to blend it out it's so emollient that it starts to basically like go everywhere have you guys ever had that happen to you i've had that happen to me and it's not the best feeling i'm like i put my cream bronzer where i want it like i don't want it to be where i'm putting my concealer so now i'm going in with a concealer and this is the jouet um essential high coverage concealer you guys know this used to be my jam it still is it's an amazing concealer and of course don't be lazy take a flat brush and anytime you're doing an eyeshadow that's super sharp at the edge you need to make sure that you go in with a flat brush and get that concealer as close as possible clean it up drag the rest that you have left over down so that way when you go in with your sponge you do not have to get close to that line because you will ruin it and then all that hard work was for nothing you'll have to go over it you'll have to fix it and ain't nobody got time for that okay we already been doing this for way too long so i'm going in with that brush making sure that everything is really nice and clean and then i'm going to go in with my sponge and blend set the stage powder for this specific look i want to make sure that my under eyes are as set as they can be because i am going to go in with water activated liners so i want to make sure that it doesn't start to kind of mix with my concealer and it will do that if it's not set properly so i'm just going in and setting underneath my eyes you guys this powder is bomb this beauty blender pocket puff is also amazing you guys know the sephora sale is coming definitely pick this up if you definitely want your under eyes to look look filtered smooth i'm telling you when you switch from a brush or a sponge and you go into a powder puff to set underneath your eyes honestly you'll never look back 
To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I want a really nice smoothing powder. Even though the skin looks really good today, I do wanna make sure everything is really nice and set so nothing budges, nothing gets shiny. I wanted this look to look really nice and matte. Very full coverage, matte, clean, flawless skin. Then I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm actually using the Jouer Hydrate and Set Powder. If you guys see my chit chat, get ready with me, then you see me use this powder as a bronzer like I'm doing today. And because it's meant to set your entire face, it's gonna look really nice and smooth. So we love that. So I went ahead and bronzed my skin, of course. And then we're gonna go in with blush. Like, do I have to even tell you what blush I'm using? I don't think so. I'm using the Danessa Myricks. And I'm gonna go in and apply some blush to my cheeks. And I kind of left this untouched. I think after this, I actually went in with just a little bit of setting powder just to set the blush in place. But that was basically it. So let's finish up the eyes. Let's get to the fun part. So you guys can see that there's a super faint line behind this black liner. And I'm going over those lines with the black liner. And that's basically, I took a cream or like a nude waterline pencil and I kind of sketched out exactly how I want this web to be. Now, Listen, if you're brave and you want to go straight in with your black eyeliner, baby, you do that, okay? But for me, I like to, I'm a planner, okay? Period. Like, I need to sketch it out. I need to get the vision. I need to know where I'm going with this. And then I go over with the black eyeliner. I feel like it's just so much easier and it kind of takes the nerves away, if that makes sense. And then you can kind of just wipe away, like I'm doing here, anything that you don't end up going over. Or if you want to change, it's easier to wipe off that nude color than it is to have to take off like an actual black liner. So I'm just going in and of course creating those webs. And you're basically just gonna create like a open U shape. And then I went in with a little bit of eyeshadow. Of course you guys know when I do these looks, like Halloween looks, it needs to have some depth, okay? We need some dimension. So I went in and did that. I just took a really tiny brush and you do not have to be precise with this. You can just go in and you basically just want to shade over the web lines that you created. And you guys can see I have that little spot of foundation missing. I fixed that, but I had to kind of, I made that line a little bit too long so I had to kind of get it off and it was a hot mess, but we fixed it. It's okay, we survived. Now I'm going in with the, I think this is a Suva Beauty eyeliner. This was a part of their, they have like a pride collection that they come out with every year so they're like little minis but any red water activated liner will do and i decided to add the red just as like a pop of color i feel like it took the look to the next level i felt like the look was looking a little boring a little lackluster so i decided to add it to the bottom part and then to the middle part as well just so that way there was a little bit of contrast but i didn't want to add too much to where it kind of overpowered the look and so that's why i did it this way Okay, so let's get into this lip combo. By the way, I went off camera and added the little cute black rhinestones. I feel like they were really cute. So for lip liner, I went in with the Morphe lip liner in the shade Bar. For liquid lipstick, I'm using the Be Bold liquid lipsticks from City Color Cosmetics. This shade specifically is burgundy, but it was a little too burgundy for me. I wanted more of like that vampy lip. So I didn't have a black lip liner, so I took the Jeffree Star black liquid lipstick. You can use any black liquid lipstick you want. And I went around the perimeter of my lips and I took a lip brush and just blended it in and girl that's basically it this is the completed look it is super simple it's very easy to achieve you can switch it up to whatever your heart desires you don't have to do a graphic liner but it is such a great go-to last minute look and honestly you can throw on just a black outfit and you are ready to go so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys